Hope you all had a great Christmas, but we just got done feeding our cattle here, and we need to go pick up a swather here quickly. Let's get to it. Hey, Gina. You, Gina just sneak attacked me through the big, tall grass. I really need to get a mower. So that is the mission today. We're going to at least pick up a yard mower. We also need to pick up a swather or mower, however you want to call it, for our uh, alfalfa. It's just about ready, and we don't own a mower, so we need to go pick one up. So I bought a few at the dealership. So you probably see uh, some extra money there. So I sold some horses and also I sold my old farm I purchased the other day. So now I got a little money to spend. So I already purchased some mowers with the money I got. Uh, so I need to come down here and uh, pick up our gooseneck. So I already, our mowers are waiting at the case dealership down there at York. So I'll go hook up that gooseneck here quick, pull this thing out of the little overhang here. So as you guys know, I'm still missing a lot of equipment. I need a purchase still for this farm, so I'm still way behind on all the equipment, like a mower. I, my uh, yard here is getting extremely overgrown. so. I, I definitely need uh, like a three-point mower or little uh, bat wing, something like that to help me out. Hopefully you all had a Merry Christmas and got to spin it with your loved ones and, and got a sweet gift too. As you see, our corn's doing good there. As you see, we got to wash up our ram here. Looking good. Looks like the Case dealerships tried to sell their uh, John Deere. They got it pulled out here way up in the front. Uh, they uh, trying to get people in the case dealership. I'm not for sure how what they're trying to do there. So it looks like our uh, mowers and everything are right here. So if we didn't buy case mowers, but they had these in stock. So we're going to pick them up. We got uh, New Holland uh, 1431 and we got a little Kubota little uh, three point mower here. All right, we got them all loaded up. Thank goodness they had a loader tractor so we could just uh, scoot this on the trailer. As you can see, we're a little wide there. But uh, I think we're a little forward heavy, but it's not that mowers don't weigh that much. So this old uh, one ton ram will easily pull it. But we'll get this back to the farmyard. Need to uh, go thank the guy that helped me load it. So I just found something out. There's a piece of land for sale right by our farm. So that guy said he was wondering if I was interested because it's a piece of land right between us and Grant's farm, basically. Uh, it's for sale. It's going up for auction, like, right away. He did say there's an old barn on it that possibly might have some old tractors and uh, cars in it. He said he knew the guy was an old collector, had some old vehicles that he had. Uh, the guy recently passed away. They're just selling the farm as is. Everything goes. Uh, the barn, the old barn, all the equipment on the farm. So, so the old man recently passed away. And the daughter wants nothing to do with the farm. So. All she wants is to uh, cash the check, but the thing is going up for auction like at a, in a few hours, so I need to put my bid in, but I really want to see what they have in that barn first. So we're just going to pull this home here. Uh, luckily, uh, this isn't too big of a load, so we'll get this home. Hopefully get all of it unloaded and parked in our shed somewhere. I know we got tons of sheds for it all to park. And then I hopefully can go look at this uh, barn that they have in the corner of this field. So this field is big. It's bigger than all of our fields. Uh, not put together, but all of our fields. It's 
a biggest field standing alone than all of our other fields, but I, I don't know if I want to get all that land, but I think I might be able to uh, scoot in the deal because I heard they have a baleen, a minimalist baleen there. The guy, the old farmer had one, uh, was trying to sell it before he passed away. Uh, I don't think it's sold, so I think it might be in that old uh, barn in the corner of his field. I don't know. I, I just really like to have an old Malene. I know they are basically bulletproof. Get that on the farm. I've always looked for one. Uh, he was also said to have an old Ford Bronco that he fixed up, basically uh, made for mudding around this place. Uh, it's supposed to be a 66 Ford Bronco. Uh, everyone's always talked about it, that he had one, an old one. Uh, it's kind of odd that an old man had one of them old 66 uh, Broncos, but uh, if I could get both of them vehicles and I could get this for maybe, I think the land is probably around 500,000, about. So if I could just, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to bid yet. I, let's take a look at the, the barn first and then see what we're going to bid. Alright, so we're back at our farmyard. So I'm going to get all this stuff unloaded and parked away. Alright, so we just got our trailer parked and unloaded there. So we got everything. So let's go try to find this place. So it's really close to our farmyard. Yeah. So this, at the end of this road is our farmyard. So we do have our alfalfa growing here. So hoping to get a pretty good first crop off of it. It's still a little uh, short. So thinking maybe a, a week or so and I'll be able to swath this. That's why we got the swather because uh, I need to get ready to swath this. Head down. Man, got a big old alfalfa field there. So according to the dealer, it's right past this and it should be a old road. Old farm road, we'll see. So I don't really use this farm. I think I'm going to use the, the bale storage and possibly store some stuff in this old barn. Don't know for sure, but right now it's really not necessary. Ooh, this is getting a little sticky here. It, we had a lot of rain the last few days. And man, it is a really wet summer. So, oh, oh, this might have been a bad idea. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, oh man, this is... We are really in the deep stuff now. Oh man. I don't know. This, I don't know if we could get out of this. Ooh. Try to back up, I guess. Put it in reverse. Oh, man. Oh, man. I think we're stuck. Oh, man. This mud, man. It's just the sticky kind. So we got a ton of rain lately. And, uh, oh, man. The barn is just, like, right down there. Just, I don't know. I, I don't know if I should chance walking all the way to it. Because I need to walk back. And I need to put my bid in before noon. Ooh, this is tough. Oh, man. This thing, uh, it's not going to get down there. Man, I was really hoping to get down there to look in that barn before, uh, before I had to put the bid in. So I could really evaluate what I needed to bid. Looks like... I have a half hour. It's going to take me probably 15 minutes to walk back to the farmyard there. And I don't know. I mean, that's probably at least 10 minute walk there. 15. Oh, man, that would be extend that. I would that would be cutting it close. I really want to put a bid in for this land. I mean, you can see how close it is to my farm. 
Oh man, this is frustrating here to get stuck at this time right now. Of all times to get stuck is trying to go look at a farm. Uh, I think I'm just going to walk back to the farm. Start le at least walking back. I uh, don't know what to bid. I know, I think the land is worth about 500. So, right now I'm thinking on uh, 55. Uh, hundred dollars for the bid it's a tough one there because I really don't know what's in there I know there's probably a really good chance that he has some of his old vehicles maybe old tractor in that barn but I, oh man just can't get down there and look at it I don't know if who's gonna bid I mean Grant could even be bidding against this I mean it might actually be closer to Grant's land there so this is a tough call to make. Like, what should I bid? I really don't want to get in too much of a financial bind. I kind of have half the money right now. I would have to uh, borrow the rest. So I need to make a quick call to my banker just to find out if he will okay that check if I write it. We gotta go put in our bid too. So, I mean, that's tough call like it's that's gonna take some time at least a little bit of time so uh, we're too late now to go uh, change your mind but uh, it's frustrating frustrating that it all worked out I'm glad that uh, I found out about it before it, if I wouldn't have found out about it it would just pass by without me knowing that would have been a tough pill to swallow but Let's get back over here. We'll have to get in our old Chevy, run to town quick, put in a bid. And uh, I think I'm going to bid 5500 like I said. And hopefully that will be good enough to uh, win the bid. But we'll find out in a little bit. Alright, we still got 15 minutes to get our bid in. We need to get this. We need to get to town. Uh-oh. Nope, don't do it to me. Not now. Not now. Not now. Start up. Start up. Oh. There we go. There we go. So, need to hurry up, rush to town. Man, I don't even know what gear I'm in. Rush to get there. Alright, let's get to town. Hopefully get this bid in and uh, hopefully win. So, we will rush to the agent here. We got about 10, 11 minutes or so and get there and hopefully get our bid in. I did get off, just got off the phone quick with a banker, and he said that uh, he will clear the check. Uh, I'm going to have to come in and do a lot of paperwork, obviously, but hopefully we'll get that. So let's hopefully, cross your fingers, everyone, let's get this. All right, so the bid is in. So we did bid $550,000. Ooh, that's a big check or bid to write. Uh, won't have to write the check until if we win it or not, so I'm gonna go down to the restaurant, just eat a little bite, just uh, chill out a little bit, and wait for a phone call, hopefully. Alright, we'll just head into the County Time Family Restaurant and order us a nice old prime rib. Hopefully I don't act too strange looking at my phone all the time, trying to wait for this phone call. Should be any time after 12. I should get the call. Oh man, I'm so nervous. It's already 12.45. I still haven't got a call. Oh man, I hope I didn't uh, bid too low on this uh, land purchase. Oh man, this is, my stomach has butterflies in it. Uh, oh man, I, I just don't know. I mean, I'm really second guessing myself lately. Uh, hello? Yeah, this is uh, Stevio here. Uh, my bid number is 78963. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so what do I need to do to finalize this? Just come by, write the check. Uh, all right, uh, do I need to sign any papers? All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Headed there right now. So if you heard that, the agent just called me. I did win the bid. So, uh, 
don't know any, uh, I'm hoping I didn't overbid the piece of land. You, you never know when you overbid, but I was just thinking I underbid it, so, I mean, what's to say? Uh, but we will uh, go write this check. I need to go uh, make sure to, to the bank here quickly. All right, so we went to the bank. So now I just have to go back to the agent's uh, little office and uh, write the check to them. Uh, they will call the bank, do a few calls. I have to sign a few papers and we should be good to go. Uh, most of the paper signing won't be for a little while to uh, let them get it all drawn up first, their lawyer. But let's get this check written. Man, that freaking place really has a crack in it. That's all the way from the roof all the way to the corner of the door there. That's crazy. All right, let's get this uh, check written. All right, that's tough writing that many zeros, but uh, we the check is placed. The uh, papers are signed. Everything's good to go. So we are going to, I'm going to head back to the farm and we got to figure out how we got to get that, uh, the truck unstuck. I really want to go look and see what we got in that uh, old barn. Don't know exactly what how we're going to do it. But I need to go get a chain, go get the truck unstuck, maybe drive a tractor to the farm. Look at that old purple charger there. That is beautiful. What a beast there. I wonder if that guy wants to sell that thing. So I think I'm um, trying to contemplate how to get this uh, truck unstuck and I'm thinking probably grab our 84, put a chain on it, try to pull that out. Might be a good plan, we'll see though. Alright, so we grabbed our 8400R here, so hopefully this will help us out. If not, uh, I think I could just use the loader on this tractor to uh, slowly uh, grab us out, if you want to say. So you kind of just use that as a claw, kind of just slowly grab yourself. It's good for definitely getting stuff uh, unstuck from mud, because a lot of times in mud you get it kind of a suctioned in. So that initial kind of pull out is always the hardest part. That's why ropes are always good to use for pulling people out or uh, vehicles out just because you kind of bring that tension up on the rope, pull it really hard, and then uh, it kind of slingshots them out. Uh, we don't have a rope big enough for this, so we're just going to use a chain. Uh, I don't know. So there, you probably can just barely see. The truck is way over there in the distance, so... Okay, here we go. We're in the mud now. You can see it down there. We are slinging it all over the place. Uh, so this is a difficult part. I think I'm just going to drive in my field, to be honest. I don't want to... Yeah, I'm just going to turn around in the field. I don't want to back up all the way, just for the simple fact that yeah, I don't want to get stuck. All right, so I got my deep waders on, so I got it hooked up to the hitch right there. Looks like our uh, wheels are still pretty far down on this old uh, Dodge. So I'm hoping I can just back this thing up so I'm not sinking too much. Kind of see I'm sinking a little bit on my tires here, but uh, all the flotation we have with all of our uh, eight tires or big tractor tires there, we're basically floating on top of the mud for the most part uh, even our chain is sneaking down into the mud if you see that that's crazy but we'll try to pull this out here and at least get it over there in the grass field hopefully or somewhere a little bit higher you always want to go really slow at first when you're pulling something you don't want to yank it all right now we will slowly put a little power to it all right, so it's coming, slowly pulling. Here, that tractor would put a little bit more power. Oh yeah, give it everything it's got. Oh 
man, we are at full throttle. Owen, it's bogging down a little bit, but 400 horsepower, it can do it. Come on, John Deere. All right, see that uh, truck still following us nicely? Yep. Oh, it's not wanting to turn there. Uh, I think we got up a little bit in the dirt. I'm gonna get it out of this mud hole. This is, ooh, man. Should have stayed out of this. Should have went this way because this, this is, this is worse than the other stuff. All right, let's get this. Okay, we still got it going here. All right. Come on, John Deere. There we go. Alright. Think we got it undone here. See if this old truck will get out of here. Start it up. There we go. There we go. We got it undone. So I think I'm gonna drive this back here quickly and then I'm gonna come walk back, get our uh, tractor. Uh, thinking, I, I don't know, I'm thinking possibly pulling a gooseneck with the 84. You know what, instead of walking back, I'm going to take my uh, Honda back over there. Who wants to walk when you got a UTV? Run this. Man, I love running in the wind like this. Sure feels good. Just hate it when the bugs hit you in the face. Man, do they hurt. All right, so I'm going to take this back, drop off the chain, and then hopefully pick up a gooseneck with it. All right, we got our hitch put on here, so we're going to try to hitch it up here quickly. Pick up our big gooseneck. Jack these uh, jacks up there. All right, so we are hitch hitched up now. Raise that uh, old gooseneck up. There we go. Start pulling it out. All right, so it's traveling a little high there, but not too bad. So we will uh, see if we can get to this barn. All right, pulling this big old gooseneck. So if I get stuck with this thing, I really got some problems, that's for sure. All right, so we got into the mud now. I'm hoping that the trailer don't become just a big mud sled back there just grabbing all the mud up but let's see if we could get this going here I don't know why I don't try to go the opposite direction to the farm yard but I guess this will probably I know that it's probably just as muddy as this you can see there we are swinging mud all over the place but we are still moving Bog it down a little bit now. There we go. Hopefully this gets us out. Kind of lifts the front end, kind of gives you a kind of a little. There we go. All right, all right, we're moving again now. All right, let's keep going. Man, it's muddy. We probably should have waited to do this another time and just walked and looked at this place, but. Really excited to see what's in the inside of it. All right, we're just about here. So it looks like an old barn on the corner of this his field here. They just farmed around for multiple years. Man, it's really got a lot of junk around it. All right, we'll leave this uh, tractor parked over here in the mud, basically, I guess. The trailer made it, so didn't get too bogged down in the mud so hopefully we could put some stuff on it or maybe this stuff will just drive I don't really know it might have been a waste of time Let's see what we got in the first door here so it looks like we got oh just one barn a whole bunch of trees overgrowth and junk on the outside got an old windmill uh oh This is a big blank. Got a whole bunch of junk and tires and old oil containers here. 
That's not good. It's not good at all. Man. Let's see if we can open up another door around here. Man. Oh, oh. Looky there. Oh, uh, I see a. What is that? Ooh, Alice Chalmers. I, I think I see the old Ford Bronco there. Is that a Minneapolis? Oh, yep, that's a Minneapolis Moline over there. Man. Oh, how do I get in this place? All right. Uh, open this door up. Oh, wow. What do we got here? We got an old Chevy. Oh, got to jump through this thing here quickly. Oh, man. Looks like an old rusted out uh, Chevy here. Uh, what is this, a K30? Whew. Yeah. Got some pretty good mud tires on there. Oh, man. Minneapolis Moline. Man, that is sick. Minneapolis Moline diesel here. A G1355. Oh, man, that is cool. Just singles on the back. Oh, look at this. Old Alice Chalmers. Crop Hustler. Oh, man, this is Old Alice Chalmers 200 here. Oh, man, this thing is a classic. Look at that grill on it. Oh, man, that thing is nice looking. Oh, and this is old Ford Bronco, a 66. Man, looks like he just put it away all mudded up. There. That thing is sick looking. Do not follow me. You won't make it. Yeah, buddy, a 66 Ford Bronco. I've always wanted one of these old things. Let's look inside. Oh, man, this thing. I can't believe he put it away this muddy. See if this old thing will start. Oh. Oh, man. Nope. Doesn't sound like it'll start. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to figure out a way to get that out of this barn. See this old Alice Chalmers. Nope. Battery's dead in this old thing. Got this Minneapolis Moline over under high hydro shift. I don't know exactly what that means. Oh man, first first crank. Look at that thing, it's start up. Oh man, these things are just bulletproof. Thing's so cool. Love the MM on the grill and everything. That thing. Nice. Thing is sweet looking. So we'll have to. I don't know how I'm gonna get this stuff out. Get it out here. Uh, no. That's weird. I don't know how that. That's odd. Keep that thing running there for a little bit. Let's see if this old Chevy's. Kind of nice interior of this old rusted out Chevy. And... Oh, yeah. That old thing started. What a beast. Look at that old little pipe that's running there. I wonder, this must have a 350 in it. Man, this thing is nice looking. I don't know how I'm going to get all this stuff out of here now. I mean, what the heck? Can't go out this way. Got junk all over this place. I mean, this door, but we got a feed trough we gotta tear down or something. How the heck do I get in this place? Looks like a door is supposed to be right here. Uh, let's see if I can climb through this. Uh... Yeah, I just gotta. I guess I gotta cut this stuff down. Yep, gotta cut it down here. We'll saw all this stuff down here. Alright, got the, all that cut down here. So I think being the uh, Minneapolis Moline is running, I'm gonna try to get that out here. 
somebody must have destroyed the old stock dash because they just put a wood panel there, but oh well, it's old tractor anyways. I love the steering wheel, though it says power steering. Minneapolis Moline, the finest tractors. Yep, that's correct. So I'll get this old uh, Chevy on there and then we'll deal with our uh, non-starters over there. This thing put on there. Old rusty Chevy, but I'm gonna like it just all the same. Yeah. So them two things looking nice on the trailer. So we got them on. I'm really surprised it's putting that much weight on the back of the old tractor here, but I guess that old we have the Minneapolis Marine up front, so it's probably a heavy uh, block of iron, that's for sure. It's like I'm gonna get my loader to help us here. Ah, there we go. Got it out. There we go. Worked all right. Hopefully, I can still get through. Problem with mud like this, when you still really start going through multiple times, you start getting bigger and bigger ruts, and then you have to worry about getting high centered. Shut that off. All right. So we'll get head back. Get to loading our next load. Don't know exactly how I'm going to get them other uh, two vehicles out, because they're not running. I did throw in uh, jumper cables into this old uh, tractor just to hope. Hopefully that will get it done. And they will start. Uh, don't know what else. I know I maybe I could use the loader to help move them or lift them out of there. I don't know how I get them on the trailer though. We'll have to see. All right, hopefully we'll make this through this mud at least, so uh, I guess two more times. Back over there and uh, back with the full load. Man, yep, we are getting deep in these ruts. All right, we made it. Just a little bit of uh, turning and twisting and backing up and using the loader tractor. Still made it through, so I'm hoping I can get it through with this uh, load of uh, tractor and uh, that good old Bronco on there. Let's see. I think I'll bring that other, the loader tractor, I'll unhitch it. Try to bring it in, see if I could jump either one of these. And hopefully that'll get it done, otherwise I'm a little worried. And will I have to move this pile of wood? No. Think that I think we're good on that. I'll just have to squeeze it in there to the side. All right, lower this down, and then unhitch this here quickly. All right, so we will take this over. Oop! I forgot to shut my door. Shut that door, and it's going to be tight. Let's see if it'll get in. Shut my grapple there. Mm. Yeah, that is tight. Need to get over this pile of wood here. I think we're good so far. I think that's probably close enough to uh, run our jumper cables. No, nope, this thing. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Uh. Must have some bad fuel on it or something. This thing ain't gonna turn over. Man, maybe I should have looked at the spark plugs, got new ones before I came. Let's uh, put the jumper cables over on this Ford Bronco and see if we get it started. Can't see anything out the front windshield of this thing. Oh, yep, yep, so Ford turned over. So, alright, we'll leave that running a little bit. Man, that thing sounds good. Listen, listen to that beast. Man, a good sounding truck there. Alright, so I need to figure out how am I going to... I think I'm going to tie a chain to the loader here and basically drag this to the side there. Straighten that out, kind of, and uh, see if we could uh, pull it back over there. 
All right, I got it facing in the right direction. Now I just got to figure out how to get around. All right, so I got this a little bit. Got it around that pile of wood, I think. Got it out the door now. So I think we're home free now. We basically got it out over here. Our trailer's right there, so we could just... Uh, I'm, I'm going to unhook it hook up the trailer and back up the trailer and hopefully be able to winch it on with a come along there. Alright, we'll back this old track, this old gooseneck back up to that tractor as well as we can. Hopefully come along it on. Alright, we got this tractor coming up. So, man, I my arms are getting wore out coming along this old tractor up on this old trailer. Oh, it's done. It's done. Man. That was a lot of come alonging to get that old tractor up. But it's on the trailer now. So now we just have to hurry up and get this Ford Bronco up on there. Now let's see if this old girl will get up there. Yep, yep. Climbing up now. Oh, got it up on the trailer. Can't see anything. I think we're good. I'm pretty sure we're good. No idea. I can't see out the front windshield. Like we're good enough. I'm going to strap this thing down and head back to the farm now. Uh-oh. Leaning a little bit there. Got a little squat on our 84 here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Pulling hard now, that's for sure. Uh-oh. Getting in over there on the right on that side. Uh -oh. Model tractor. I don't know whose farm this is. Land. Might be Grant's land, but I'm going to turn around in it. All right. We're headed home now. Got this, everything hooked up, still swinging mud. I'm hoping I don't get stuck on the way back, because, uh, seeing it. Oh, oh, I'm bogging down now. I think we'll make it now. That was, we're past the worst part there. But, thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Nebraska. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe.